Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolph back. Today I have something kind of nice for you. It's for the rapier lover. It's a kind of all around build. You, it's mostly for the boss that you want to break the stamina as a DPS, but that you're a rapier user. And the rapier is just a really nice weapon, big elemental DPS, and it's a nice way to boost your rapier dps too because you know i propose an artifact of and weapon that boosts your elemental dps so it's a big elemental dps and it's good into most of the dungeon and mostly the one that is weak to that element so let's get straight into it so you will see I'm like a bot and I did not make my build properly. I need to have the weapon perk but overall it's going great DPS. It's just that if I had like the weapon perk for Flourish and Finish and Tondo or like uh, the Fleury, you know, it's some great weapon perk and when you're doing a rapier build, you better to have them seriously. I did this build too quick and I, I'm better to make a better build than that if I go to a third dungeon and have the proper weapon perk. At least I had a lot of elemental DPS from my harnessing and stuff so I think it was doing it right. But yeah, take care of what you do man. So I'm gonna show uh, the fight of the first boss of the red Gorgon. Because uh, it's a good red to show how to break the stamina. And as you can see I have the hammer. And the only ability that I use on my hammer is that. And so uh, on your hammer you can put all the passive. And you don't really need shockwave or clear out. Uh, all you want is armor breaker. As, as much passive as you can. And you just chose your favorite passive. Uh, th there's uh, some passive that does you do more DPS like uh, it, as, as example let, let, let's say that you're just gonna take some passive like that on the two side and like uh, there you go and, and then y you see you're just gonna pop as much passive uh, as you can so your armor breaker and your EV attack uh, it's gonna pop are you gonna do that bang and then you're gonna go back for your rapier ability. So that shit can go kinda hard when you think about it. Uh, so when it, you go and you break the stamina, you have two choice. You see my AD attack right now, it was kinda quick, but you can fully charge AD attack, but you can not fully charge AD attack. And then you can combo it into a uh, armor breaker. So yeah. And what is nice about this armor right there, if you read, 20% more lightning damage with both weapons. So, on my rapier, it's gonna boost my lightning damage on my rapier. And then I have a lightning harnessing build uh, that boosts my lightning damage. So, my lightning damage is kind of insane right now. Uh, you can have like you can try some variant, I guess going five con with that maybe, but it's elemental damage, so I don't think it, it maybe it count as an empower, maybe it's it it get into the empower cap or anything. You can try with a two nether pants. I if I want to do to see what's the best, I would say that the best is not so what chess piece. Then the second best would be a two nether pants. And then the third best would be a fitter weight, and then the fourth, maybe this. But I did not try mid and build for the moment. And PV, it's weird, and maybe you're empowered. There's some things this thing to do with that. Uh, the I, the Archroon, you know, this Archroon is just good for the red overall. Um, my my perk on my armor, I did not really look for the perk all i wanted is a uh, four refreshing stack and as much lightning harnessing as possible and this is what i have so yeah i just took some gear in my in my shit for that uh, the omni direction elevate just read the perk 20 percent power it's pretty good and you can manage to 
to combo it with some ability of the rapier so it's amazing uh, i have leeching on my ring yeah yeah, Li leeching on me survives so much. I I'm about to craft soon probably one of those rings with uh, slash damage on it because you know on this account I know that I, I use one a lot in PvP. You see there's this one that is amazing in PvP, but like I have more talent power on it, and I know that I'm probably slash damage cap. And you know uh, there's the the ability that I was using was mostly slash on the but right now you see since i have a gem into it it's not really slashed that much anymore so maybe i would be even better with keen or lightning damage but yeah with keen that would be great too because i cannot uh, backstab the boss anyway so yeah i think keen would be what i want right now with leeching and rt So for the attribute, I did put those attributes. I just wanted to show that it worked like that. You can put lower con, and I, and I know I, I did this dungeon many times with lower con. It's just that I want to show the DPS with that. And like it's very, very good because you reach the elemental damage and you reach the crit chance while empowered. So what happened is... Uh, the boss you cannot backstab it so gaining some crit chance while empower is very good and the rapier scale more of dex than int so this is what i used at the end at, uh, during the second boss and at the end of the raid and it was going very very good but uh, during the first boss like i, I was just meta crafting and i would i would show what i was doing during the the first boss i think this combo maybe is better uh, because you see, uh, Fleury apply a bleed. Uh, look, the last hit of Fleury apply a bleed. So you, you still can add some bleed and do a flourish and finish even without the Tondo. So I think the Tondo is not a necessity. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to see between because Tondo is still a slash. Uh, damage so it's pretty hard to see between those two which one is the best but uh, off cooldown you could you just can spam those two almost and it just they just keep coming back so it's pretty hard yeah so you do flourish first and then you do flurry second so you do some critical look uh, critical strike reduce your cooldown so you do flourish first and then you refresh your cooldown with flurry and then you regain the flourish again and, and you just pop between those two and it's just gonna happen a lot and then you evade uh, in between mostly you try to hit the flourish and finish you do the evade into like a light attack and then you do the flourish and finish um so yeah the other deal that i did i think it was like this i was just testing so i was not even sure so yeah there isn't the video this is what i had but i was just still uh, theory crafting and it worked really really good seriously uh, having the haste on the rapier saved my life many times and i feel like this build like this is really balanced and the dps was really really good and uh yeah like li like i say on the hammer it's like that so yeah it's enough for this video. I'm gonna put the game fluid. Thanks for everyone who's supporting this channel. Tell someone you love him. Peace out or love her. Someone yelled Yoko.
Alright, start uh, getting crystals here. Just in case.
can't see you, I can't see you. Don't run away. Thank you. 